Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here for, as you can see, Dreamcatcher. Um, Apocalypse Follow Us. Second EP in the Apocalypse Trilogy. And we just finished listening to Vision, or watching Vision, and that was incredible. I, I had to go back and watch it again before I started this. But we've got now five tracks to check out. An intro, three B-sides, and an outro. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Intervision. We are just gonna give this a listen. Um, I might shorten it on the reaction, but yeah, just to keep with the uh, the integrity of the album, you know. I'm not gonna lie, that, uh, <clears throat> that chorus is fucking fire. That is such a great damn chorus. I, I'm not sure if anyone else heard it, but with that Jackie Chan refer reference, um, the way she says quickly, Sounds like Kickly. Jackie Chan. Okay. Just, that's just me. That's just me. Okay, before we get into that chorus jam out again, I need to I need to touch on Han Dog again just because I don't know why, but her vocal like before the pre, like before in the pre-chorus when it split with Gaian, it just sounds so powerful and I'm so impressed. I'm so happy. Yes. Okay. Before, before, before this continues. I don't know why, but there's something that just feels, um, I, it's just, it's just a fucking good song. <laughs> I don't know what else anyone wants me to say. I don't think anyone wants me to say anymore, but I will. Uh, for me, it's the guitars in the chorus that really stand out. They're so they're just, they're just like the best way I can describe them is they're driving. Like it just kind of drives the song and like pushes it forward. It's like 
that chorus just gets my adrenaline going. <laughs> it's such a great, like, call to action song, too. I don't know why, but the whole vibe, all of it, just fucking so good. I'm gonna try and stop swearing, I promise. Alright, into the next one. New B side. This is. A fairy tale. Okay. Ooh, I like the guitar. It's very pretty. So at first I was going to say this reminds me a lot of Paramore's When It Rains, but it picks up so much and very quickly. I, hmm, it gives me those vibes, but with like a lot more energy and fucking yes, yes. Okay. Is that? Hold up. Let me, let me go back just to appreciate I'm pretty sure that was Gaian. Handan? Sure that was guy on. Gorgeous, Shion. Gorgeous. Aw, Tommy. Ooh, Tommy! This gives me such just great uplifting vibes. I don't <laughs> I feel like after vision it sounds like like what they kind of envision that they're like this is the fairy tale we want to live in like we just do our part. I don't know. That's just maybe that's just me projecting a, a concept onto here. But anyway. Can I officially call Jiu the the bridge queen? Because the last three songs I've heard, like, oh, not three heard, but like, Maison, Vision, Fairy Tale, she kicks off the bridge. I don't know if that's like a, a known, like, a typical thing that the leader will kick off the bridge, at least for Dreamcatcher, but just something I noticed. But uh, yeah, she she potentially the uh. Bridge Queen. I don't know why it took me so long to think of that word. <laughs> anyway, take it back a little bit and continue. Eyes, I'm living a fairy tale. 
You can. Ooh, that base. Hold up, is that is that you can? It's Yuhin or Xion. They're the only ones I can think of who might be able to pull that part off. so good oh my god <laughs> all right all right oh, yeah it just gives me such warm soft positive vibes and i fuck with it i love it so much all right now we're on to some love oh okay This is an interesting sounding song, and it's really, it's very interesting for Dreamcatcher. I absolutely love it though, it's, I think especially for what it's calling for, just saying like everyone needs some love. Um, I, I don't know the rest of the lyrics obviously, but from what I'm gathering of the th themes of this song, the, or this album, the whole thing feels like a call to action, like, you start off with Vision, which is just literally the call to action song of the album. You go into fairy tale and it's kind of giving the idea, like the vision, so to speak, <laughs> of what the world could be like if we all just kind of came together and, and worked towards that. And now we're onto some love, which at least from the parts that I could gather of the chorus so far and the song, it really feels like it's another call to action in a sense, but on how we treat each other, on how we kind of interact with one another um and the presence we are in each other's lives it kind of really it it feels like it honestly would really really go well with um the dystopia era from what i remember of what the entire message of that era was i think it also fits very well here i like that they're still carrying that theme from their previous eras into this so continuing yeah musically this is so between that bass, the the guitar, some of the sampling in the production, um, and even just the rhythm of it. Just very, very unique for Dreamcatcher. Okay, wait, I need that I need the back I need that back real quick. Those drums. <laughs> Oh, okay, I think that might be my favorite verse of the album so far. I'm not gonna lie, like the favorite Dami verse. Ooh, that was good. That was, I love that flow. Hang on, we're gonna go back just a bit. 
I'm not the time gonna stop. 그들이 맞아도 네 마음은 때로 다르니까. 눈이 감으면 내 luck in an old you want to get high. 이곳에서 play my game. We all need some love. So good. 지금 너에게로 주문을 걸어. 이 세상에서 제일 밝은 색깔들로 가득 채워. Ooh, it's bridge. So, some love. Yes, I, I, mean, I wish I could describe genres of music better and stuff, but like, it was just so unique. From the jump, like the drum beat, it, the, even the guitar parts, like, it just had this, oh God, how can I describe it? Almost like, maybe I'm wrong here. Tell me I'm Go ahead and tell me I'm wrong and correct me, but this is just kind of what my what my brain is gathering, what I'm kind of identifying it as, but like an alternative, kind of 60s hippie-ish apocalyptic take. <laughs> that's that's where my that's where my brain came to. Anyway, on to rainy day and then the outro. Let's do this. The ballad of the album. No, that's Honda. I'm probably gonna get it wrong. Please correct me. <laughs> that's definitely Sua. Oh, that harmony is gorgeous. Can I take it back for that harmony really quick? Because I was definitely talking through that a little bit.
telling you. What did I say? What did I say about Jiu being the bridge queen? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Who started this? Who started this? I'm just saying. Alright. A very, very pretty ballad. I don't think it's my favorite ballad of theirs though. I think always is always gonna is I think always is gonna be in my heart forever. Like that's gonna I don't know if any any other ballads are gonna top that one for me. Um But very pretty. I liked the atmospheric feel of the rain added into the track. It reminded me a lot of Lucy. They do a lot of stuff like that. Just a solid, solid track. All right, now into outro Mother Nature, and then that's it for the Dreamcatcher Apocalypse Follow Us EP. Okay, interesting. Vocal sample in that. Alright, that was Apocalypse Follow Us from Dreamcatcher. Uh, my final thoughts. What a solid, solid second EP in this trilogy. Um, honestly, all four top, all four like main tracks that we got. I don't have any complaints. I think I loved three out of the four. I only liked Rainy Day. Um, as for the intro and outro, always instrumental bangers. I'm always I'm always happy for those. <laughs> but otherwise, I am extremely happy with this. I can't wait to watch Vision over and over again because that music video was just fucking sick. <laughs> I also I really liked that they kind of tried to lay or tried to use less of the CGI. I mean, there are some sets, at least within this one. There's still a lot of CGI, but. I'm not too upset about that. I loved it. I hope you guys did too. Anyways, until next time guys. Peace, love, stay safe. I love you all. And yeah. Peace.